Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, but I'm bad. The original progenitor of the but I'm bad game playthrough forehead series. This will be hour, hour and a half long chunks as we experience Shadow of the Erd Tree with the original character from the original playthrough which historically as well over two years ago now was the first souls game i had ever played since then i have played all of dark souls one two and three all the dlc all of bloodborne all the dlc all the optional chalice dungeon nonsense in bloodborne all of that we did demon souls all of that that was an experience gorgeous but an experience uh both God of Wars, both Jedi games, Fallen Order and Survivor. Like it's just, it's a lot of souls likes since the original Elden Ring started me down this path. And this is the original character. This is, this is the same character we made and started. Hold on. I can't use my Steam Deck right now because it's a bug with the DLC. So if the mouse suddenly takes over the screen, then uh, just let it happen because it might go like Wah! sometimes. But it's the original character we made. I just hit, I had some runes. We're at level 173. I really didn't do a whole lot of rune farming. Uh, I did it to show off rune farming, but I was like a level 170, 169 or so at the end of the game. You can go back and check the last episode of the original But I'm Bad series and tell me what level I was because I haven't really done anything on this character since. But we got 70 faith. I was going to boost Arcane to like 16 if we get some runes to do that. So I just get some other spell options. But this is our character that had all that stupid lore we made from Elden Ring that went from this to Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. But now we are... We are just... We are here. We are going over here to the Cocoon of the Empyrean. Everything is done in the entire game. So now we get to start with the new entire game. Probably about a 50 hour playthrough, knowing me, maybe more. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Nicola? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Nicola the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. <laughs> like us, they have heard kindly Nicola's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Let me tell you we're going to learn more about how kindly Mikula wasn't that kindly. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Is that our only dialogue? Come now. Yep. I will not be far behind. Okie dokie. Oh, the ring is shiny. You see that? All right, here we go. He was as kindly as any god. As true <laughs> in this world. Yep, yeah, that's true. All right, Realm of Shadow. Here we go. Now, a bunch of changes and patch stuff has adjusted things that I was using on this character. Although, because I played so much Final Fantasy VII Remake into Rebirth before this, I may be doing this a lot when I want to run. Because running in this game is on the circle button. But running in Final Fantasy games was on the shoulder button or the trigger. So... Joy ahead, Erd Trio, Erd Tree. We are playing online. I was bullied into it so we could see soapstone messages. So if I'm stopping all the time to look at every soapstone, you did this. When we're 40 hours in and 10 hours of it is looking at soapstones and bloodstains, just remember, it's your fault.
There is the very angry wicker man who, if I'm to take anything from the the preview event reviews, takes no damage right now. <laughs> Are you ready? Bull goats, huh? Daring, are we? <laughs> All right. Well, so here's the new thing. Shadow Realm Blessing. The Skadu Tree Blessings and the Revered Spirit Ash Blessings. Spirit Ash Blessings are to scale our Spirit Ash, which I don't even have equipped right now. And the Skadu Tree Blessing is our... It's the new leveling in this land. It's damage up and damage reduction per stack. And there's a set number of them, apparently, in the whole game. Yo, Godslayer Gritsword, let's go, brother. And we'll have to see. Because the game sort of soft blocks, from what I understand, if you don't... Well, there, there'll be playthroughs of this that'll be level one and zero Skadu Tree Blessings. I'm sure certain creators are probably working on that uh, already right now as we speak. But I imagine you're going to hit bosses for 40 and they're going to have 50,000 HP. So have fun with that. I will not be doing that because I don't care about that level of challenge. That to me is uh, not very fun. Game's already hard enough as it is. I'm not going to futz around with level one, torch only, zero ska dude. No. Dance pad, banana inputs. No. It's amazing if you can do that, but I cannot. My forehead is too large. It weighs me down. Oh, new material. The Rada fruit. Okay. We're going to need to get new craftable books and stuff to even make use of things. Likely bird. I mean, you, you're not wrong. Did we drop anything different? I could hit him. Whoa. We got more. But there are chunks of Faramazula in the lands of shadow. How does that make any sense? Well, at least it looks like it. A little shack down there. Uh, there's multiple wicker men? Okay. So they're just like random world enemies. They're not actually bosses. So they're kind of like the big giants then. I thought that was just the one. That was not just the one. <laughs> I got got. <laughs> I got got. That wasn't the e that wasn't the soapstone message. Got him. Was it the bird that was up there that's caught and ran away? I guess so. Huh. Also, if you're wondering. It's going to be some slow exploration since this is all going to be brand new again. Just like the beginning of the original playthrough of this. Hole ahead? Visions of Chaos. I mean, yeah, there's a hole right there. That's for certain. Certain? For certain? What the hell is that? I don't have my um, telescope, do I? Well, first off. Mm, very good. Where is my looking glass that barely changes anything? Hold on, watch. Ready? <laughs> That's the wrong button. It's like a weird gnarly tree thing down there. That's a, just a giant dead dragon. Okay. What I was looking at. Uh, 
Okay. You guys ever played a Souls-like game before? What you know about that the hole in the ground over there is a boss fight? In front of that dragon corpse is a boss fight? Mark my words. When we ever get there. That little shack on that little island which you can't swim to so is there a cave that takes you to go there unless it's not deep enough water it's all just like taking everything in this is all brand new pig pig tell me your secrets pig <gasps> Ah, uh, legs. Indeed. Try head. <sighs> chat wanted... Well, one, one very vocal member of chat wanted soapstones on. So here we are. Now we get all the stupid, lewd emotes. I was looking at dragon ahead you don't say damn that looks explorable enough there's like a path right there because we don't have any map right now it's just oh our first map node is way over here our first map obelisk as it were Just a random dude walking around right there. You see that guy? He's got the shorts on. It's nice out. Are you an angry dude? Oh, you are Logor the Beast Claw. Ow, my HP. He do be Beast Claw and all that? Whoa, 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 bud. Oh my. Okay, that has some nasty tracking. That has some nasty tracking. Fade him out. Hmm. Oh, okay. Man's out here with some Estus. I see a juice drinker as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Man, it's a lot of HP. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I assume he's going to drop the beast claws. Oh, he stopped chasing me. It went over his head? What? It went over his head. I immediately ran away. I have more Estus than you, bud. Sorry. Yeah, they nerfed greatsword blocking. I saw that in the notes. Woo! He jumped in the air at me. Well, you know, we might as well. Whoa, bud. That is quite the animation. a long combo all right loger yep there's the beast claw 
I'm gonna write his name down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like remember because all this stuff is all new, right? So Loger the Beast Claw. We're taking notes on every like everything that's named, essentially. All of the named encounters. And of course, we're going to look at the lore. So where are Beast Claws at? Because this is a new weapon type. Right there. D and Strength and Dex. No, I don't want to put it on. I wanted to read the lore. Weapon in the form of a carnivorous beast's vicious claws used to perform bestial slashing attacks uncanny to humankind. An imitation of the esoteric technique of the horned warriors. Those who carry this weapon wield it as though they have been possessed by a savage beast. Skill is savage claws. You pounce like a beast to viciously slash into a foe with left and right claws. That was whenever they went that when I threw a fireball over his head. <laughs> threw a fireball over his damn head. All right, all right. Got to remember where my sword was. Because I have many, many weapons. Even though I think when I looked at my actual chart, I was uh, short quite a few. Oh, I'm in the wrong hand now because I looked at it on the other one. But I guess I'm getting used to using a ultra great sword in this setting. Enemies were, according to the reviews, just overall much faster. Like everything was kind of like much quicker paced in the DLC. And it's... Okay. Is there some puzzle here? There's a bird yelling at me. Mushroom? White flesh mushroom. Oh yeah, we got new new items here too. So we got oh it's a different section. Berry like fruit that grows into spirit grave grass. Material used for crafting items easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow, though its bitter taste makes it unsuitable for consumption by humans. And the white flesh mushroom, milky white mushroom that grows in sullen lands, easily found everywhere in the realm of shadow. The flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat and can serve as pot innards. So new craftable for new throwable pots, maybe? Also gross. How'd you die, bud? Did Logor get ya? Looks like Logor got him. Not resin. Oh, I know that 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 tree is not loaded correctly. Not resin? Found near tree roots everywhere in the realm of shadow. Not resin. Oh, not lumped. Not shaped lump of resin that exude from the roots of trees. Found near roots in the realm of shadow. Serves as a primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing using sorceries, incantations, and the like. Serves as a primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing. So it's going to be used in... Maybe also a pot material or or maybe new or just new uh, consumable potions maybe something like that I don't know no there's no we haven't run into there's gonna be a tri finger butthole you know there's gonna eventually be everywhere. Another new mushroom? Red flesh mushroom. We're here for the lore. The flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat, can serve as pot innards. So different... 
different mushrooms for crafting. I'm not sure about what the angry eagle noise was on a couple of those like grave shrines. But it definitely was super loud. Hello. I almost said friendly question mark, but usually friendly NPCs are just standing with nothing around it. And these boys are not that. Can I help you? Weak foe. Don't give up. Just some random militia men, I guess. Ooh, thanks for the Estus. Warrior ahead. That was the wrong button. Oh, good. Glass shards. I'm good. Those are still dropping. Black Pyrefly. Well, that raises the question if the flaming butterflies in the lands between these, but I have 400 of the smoldering butterflies. Because now there were, there were people that thought the theories changed about how these were tied to Mesmer, not Melina. Although, if we're about to find out they're the same damn person, we'll see. Because now this clearly would be a fiery butterfly with black cinder wings, flies in war-torn lands that have been scoured by Mesmer's flame. They burn in dark and slender ribbons of fire. I never really crafted enough stuff with the butterflies in, to begin with. Because primarily they were used in making... Say like, well, those are lilies. So what are the butterflies used for? Yeah, you know, the, the, like the special arrows. Rot bone arrow. Fire, fire bone bolts. Now, arrows did get a buff. I did see that arrows did get a buff. So I'm not sure if, if playing as a ranger is back on the menu. Because it has historically always been pretty meh. In Souls games. Visions of sorcery. Yeah. Any bird want to yell at me real quick? First off, look carefully. Is dragon? Dude, there are so many of these things. That's the third wicker man we've seen. Some like tomb gravestone site down there. That's wild that they're that they are that prevalent and they're not unique mobs. That they are uh They are clearly just world mobs. They're probably one-offs where they will not respawn. That's a dog on fire? Hmm. I wonder how my message appraisals did. Let there be cave, got 51. No trap ahead, 23. Didn't expect weak foe, therefore time for introspection, got 12. All right. I got downvoted once on liar ahead because someone trolled and... <laughs> That's good. I thought I made another one, but maybe you can only see so many. I thought I made a try finger butthole. At one point. Praise the sleep. He do be asleep. Forever.
That's twice now with just like a random mob or two mobs that gives flasks, gives Estus. Like end of pack mobs give Estus normally because they're to help keep you exploring and not having to go sit at a, at a, at a bonfire. A sight of grace, if you will. Huh, very angry fire doge. There are so many blood stains already. What? I probably should go towards the obelisk, but we're just exploring. I zoomed all the way out. I mean, we're, we're tangentially going that way. Oh, these are still here. Broken runes. Oh, wait a minute. That's new. On the wrong screen for them. So broken rune is 500 compared to golden rune, which is 200. The little tiny one on the ground you find. Golden traces of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. Broken and faded, threatening to dissipate entirely. Hmm. All right. So what's the catch here? There's a freaking stake of America right here. This is a boss. Oh, well. Shall we find out? Hello, dog. Have some of this. Well, the dog's not a boss. <laughs> I was half expecting the dog to like erupt into some huge beast or something. That was not the case. Tier five smithing stones. All right. Yeah. So how are people dying here? Are they just aggroing everything at once? Dude, nice antlers. Something comes out of that K or the, the arches right there. Obviously. Oh, hello. How, who are you? Try ranged battle. Call us like a Langdell Knight? Sort of? Oh, we've got a bit of an encampment going on here. Okay. Not an enchantment, an encampment. All right. Don't get it twisted. New item. Dew gem. Oh, and there's smoldering butterflies here. Succulent plant that has supped on night tinged dew. Craft an item. Glows at night and blossoms mainly at the water side. Said to have been used in the practice of sprite medicine long ago. Sprite medicine? Not spirit medicine, but sprite medicine. Like the soft drink. The lemon lime soda. Sprite. You know, I wasn't expecting that crossover. Crossover? Crossover in my Elden Ring DLC, but... They gotta pay the bills, right? Oh, there's more bat black pyreflies. They weren't actually... Smoldering. I guess we'll start clearing out this camp, shall we? There's a purple item in there and large hammer. Look carefully, all the more. Could this be a precious item? It could be. That's got like a big mace. Hi. Can I buff, please? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I see you swinging that mace. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> he did block. That's okay. Do have big shield and all that. Mm, big damage. Bait him out. Oh, he just staggered me at the very end there. The Black Steel Great Hammer. All right. Got to read the lore. Every new item. I'm here for it. Gonna, every time you got to go. Isn't there a recently looted? Where's the recently looted? I have to turn that on. Like newly looted items were supposed to have exclamation points and they were supposed to like. Supposed to be a new tab for recently looted items. Those are maces, maces, big ones. Weapon of the Black Knights, servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Great hammer of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an urge tree incantation. That's correct. It did do the hammer slam that Radagon did, basically. Further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the element's power. Guard counters caused a burst of power. Wait, so if you wholly imbue yourself while using this great hammer it will amplify the effect of the ground slam and it has endure hmm so you can endure and then ground slam interesting I mean, it looks awesome it is strength dex has holy damage but has uh d faith scaling a little bit of faith scaling on that 25 strength we are not a strength build primarily we only have 24 <laughs> the minimum amount for my weapons we could maybe put a point how, how are our runes right now anyway we're getting some we do need 215,000 to level up <laughs> it's freaking dark Is a toggle for the new items? Yeah, that's a. Is it um? I have to turn it on, maybe. Oh, mark new items, and show recent items tab. Oh, very nice. It's a. It's actually selected. I thought it was on by default. About new inventory features. Yep, items obtained first time can be marked with an exclamation point. A dedicated tab for new items most recently. This is delicious. Makes looking at new items way easier. Big thank you, Q. Thank you. The Church of Consolation. Hey, bud. Precious item ahead. Ah, our first Skadu tree blessing. Like, uh, these are fragments found across the realm of shadow. Consume these at sites of grace to bolster your Skadu tree blessing. The Skadu tree blessing bolsters the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of shadow. Awkwardly, this is a little church, but no site of grace here. No, no bonfire. I can summon here, but no Bonnie. Hi. No bonfire. Mesmer soldier helm. We're going to check that. Okay. I'm digging the, uh, the double axes on that guy. Oh, this is so much better. Although, why did it put my flask there because I used it strange oh it gave us two two skadu tree fragments so does does each blessing require more and more like is it gonna like one two three four like it, 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 it's a um a scaling amount how more by soldiers who serve mesmer the impaler the impaler the iron helm features a visor 
Though the engraving upon the forehead is a Skadu tree design, it is etched in gold, a small consolation to those forced to wage a war without grace or honor. Hmm. No, there's no dick twists here. Not yet. I haven't died yet, but I've only been walking around and I've only fought two enemies, really. One, well, that's one actual enemy. We're clearing out our first little encampment here. We got Fire Dog. Hello, Fire Dog. That's the wombo combo, though. Probably don't need to have the black flame wall. Hole ahead. Yeah, I mean, there, there better be a cave behind that waterfall or I'm going to be pissed. That boy has a horn on his belt. So if he sounds the horn, he will aggro the whole camp. Don't you know? You know, it's Blades Edge Mountains. I wonder, is that only back? Is that only set dressing or are we going in that mountain? We'll find out in like 30, 40 hours. I don't know. No down ahead. Try jumping. Mm. I'm not going to do any of those weird warp skip madness things that you can do in this game. I wonder if that got patched out. That uh, the speedrunner tech where you, I don't know, you, you basically keyboard macro where you can like, you, it's called zipping. Where, for some reason, you can move your character's location, like, super far forward. So... Oh, there's a dog here? Shit. Well, the camp did not really seem to... Huh. This is a lot of show, don't tell right now. The. Interesting. The soldiers do not react. Which I suppose make sense considering what they've gone through. It's just telling you that their morale is just totally broken, I guess. Very few of them even care to continue on. I'm about to say you better explode into particles and physics don't you dare not the fire coil what in the hell uses fp to conjure a tiny fire snake it's a consumable there's two of them a device of fire used by Mesmer soldiers, lingering embers bundled into a coil, craftable item. Use FP to conjure tiny fire snakes from the spot that it is thrown. The writhing snakes pursue foes. Fire was a symbol of the crusade and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers would wield it. Well, we have to give that a try, don't we? We have to... We have to at least give that, give that a go. Um, let's see what it even does. 
Interesting. So now I don't I can't craft those yet though, correct? There's not they haven't changed them where if you find an item you can craft it. I'm assuming I also need to get books. I need to find merchants and get books. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't just find an item and can craft it. I didn't know how many new craftable items there was going to be. Maybe dozens? All right, we have to go behind the waterfall now. No cave ahead, therefore time for sadness. my first appraised message in the DLC. How is there no waterfall cave? What? Zero out of 10 game. I guess I got to install now. I couldn't see if there was this side. Like it's just all mist and blah, blah, blah. Now, there is this cave. There's a Gul'dan item over there. My, my soapstone. There was a message there and it went zapoof. It's unfortunate. Uh, I probably have to take off black flame ritual. A bunch of dudes standing around. Do you have a horn? You don't have a horn. You do have an axe. Have a fireball. Yeah, huh? Having a steering contest? Ah, he didn't like that. <laughs> Space light just pediddled him and he was like mm. <laughs> This can't just be like crazy like a big item with nothing around come on where's the catch? Is there a catch? Why is it always God? Soldier of Godric? He descends from the the mountains above. Just a little okay. What we got here? Blessing of America. Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. It's an elixir? I'm still playing Final Fantasy? No! For those of you that have been keeping up with my content, you've you've known, but if you haven't been, I recently did all of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. All of it. I platinumed it. It took me 240 something hours. All of hard mode, all of the hard mode challenges. I had then christened and crowned or whatever the hardest video game encounter I've ever experienced in the history of me being alive and part of this mortal coil was one of the combat challenges in that game. The previous hardest was Melania in Elden Ring, but that's because it was my first Souls game. If I went back and fought Melania now, it'd be way different. But uh, Melania took me three and a half hours. That whole video was, of course, on my YouTube channel archived for all time, as well as all of my rebirth stuff. But the hardest rebirth encounter took me two different play sessions at roughly seven and a half hours to beat it. So more than double the hardest souls boss I've ever fought before. So seeing something that completely restores all HP and heals all ailments is an elixir, which I ended that playthrough with, with, I don't know, 
40 of them because I just never use them because you can't use items in hard mode. A special physic blessed by Merica, the queen of the Erd Tree. Well, I burned that shit. We did the frenzied flame ending. Spoiler alert. That's why my eyes are orange. Merica once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. Erica once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. All right, so we're going to piece together this story. Is Mesmer going to be some like benign tossed away child of Merica? Because I don't think we've had that confirmed at all yet. But why would Merica be making elixirs of her own golden juices? for a mesmer hmm these are single uses too so these are yeah consumable number held one of one or is it not it says well yeah stored zero of 600 so it's clearly a fully consumable item unlike the flasks and the flask holder physic they have uh they cannot be stored so these are There was an item in, is it an item in Dark Souls 3? That you only got like three or four of? That were kind of like that? I mean, I have to go up here and read them. I'm being dumb. No joy ahead. <laughs> Someone got all the way to that one? That guy's trying to get up there with, with Torrent. That's great. Hmm. So many... Oh, bud, why would you do that? All right. Still a little strange that this little chapel doesn't have a site of grace, but I guess there's no graces here. There's only going to be the... the stakes of Mikola, I guess, which we haven't even found our first one yet. So this whole area over here... This huge graveyard just leads to that. Which I don't even know if that weapon was 100% drop rate. That weapon we got, that big mace, may have been a rare drop. And I just got super streamer lucky that it even dropped in the first place. I'm probably not going to be riding around on Torrent too much. I don't want to miss anything, you know? At least when I'm exploring new areas, once I'm a little more familiar with the map. Then Torrent will make an appearance, but a lot of this is just you got to take in where everything is. Just learning... Hello. I'm heading to the map fragment. Where are you gents going? To hell! Ow! <laughs> Big boy be punching me! <laughs> that, that boy turned around and punched the shit out of me. <laughs> just, oh, that was so good. Oh yeah, so that's what those are. They're hanged men trees. Hmm. So the ones we saw over the cliff down there were, um, probably the same. I release you. map fragments over there not sure why that's glowing blue let's get our map fragment or map piece wonder how many map pieces there are 
for the land of shadow here. Oh, we got a lore ghost too. The gravesite plane. Map me. Shit. And this is chunk one. Oh my gosh. So when we popped out, we were just right, right from this cave. So there's something on top. It's our first little, little dungeon over here. It's our first legacy dungeon up here, I imagine. So yeah, that's the Church of Consolation where you went to. Cuts off the map slice there because that's down. All right, Mr. Ghost. Everybody's burned to cinders, burned away. Put to the torch by Mesmer and his lot. What did we do to deserve such a fate? We really lived our lives. We lived in peace. Yeah, well, Queen Merica didn't think so, but don't worry. That's why I burned that tree to the ground in frenzied yellow flame. All right, let's go back here and see why this is glowing uh, blue. Goats! Goats! Tranquility. It is, you know, awkwardly peaceful, even if all the gravestones are holograms. <laughs> I wonder if all these gravestones are supposed to mirror Lands Between, because Lands Between has tons of actual gravestones. Goats! Alright, you know, boss gonna pop out and try to poop on me here? What's going on? Or are they glowing because it's an item here? Is the item a jebate? This looks like an absolute jebate. Oh, just a larval tier? Okay. Okay. So the, the item glow is reflecting slash refracting off of all of these ghostly tombstones. Not to be confused with the pizza of the same name. Seek down. I mean, eventually, yeah, I already went down, but down more, sure. Big pillar tower thing? I don't know. I'm just taking it slow. I have no no reason to rush this. I'm stuck. Another item over there, but it's oh, like some weird. Maybe they can just drop not resin. All right. All these weird hangman trees. Not exactly an impaler impaler tactic, but it is very gruesome. A gruesome effigy, if you will. Was this like a, a giant? Praise the unnoticed. Why is it always head? Ah, revered spirit ash blessing. This can be found across the realm of shadow as well. Consume this ash and state of grace to bolster your revered spirit ash blessing, which bolsters both summoned spirits and spectral steeds abilities to deal and negate damage, but all has no influence outside the realm of shadow. So it makes torrent tankier so that you don't torrent doesn't just get completely one shot and buffs your spirit ash summons aka the mimic tier 
which I don't know if I want to have a shielded mimic tier where I can put on you put on a great shield basically and then you summon your mimic tier and then you take off the great shield and then your mimic tier has the great shield which just gives your mimic tier more tankiness I usually just use mine as a nuke bot since I usually have you know two or three spells on so the mimic tier just kind of blasts If you want to use like a tanky spirit, Ash, you would summon a tanky spirit. Like one of those um, burial sentinel guardian guys. I wonder if my black flame will actually hurt the wicker man. Or if it will do complete dookie to it. Like a hill looks funny in the distance there. We're just scoping around. We never know when there's going to be little caves and stuff. We can kind of start seeing stuff on the map because we have this one fragment here, but you never know. Also, the question is, it looks like the Wicker Men are probably meant to be fought on horseback. They're very... this DLC's Tree Sentinel, if I had to guess. Those are ghost dogs. Heckin' ghost dogs. Oh, there is our first sight of grace. Oh, ho, ho, he juked the shit out of me. He did it twice, damn. Whoa, another one. Ow, my face. I like how the guy they were walking with, he's just like, didn't even care. Hey, bud. Didn't know if he had two hits worth of HP or not. Hey, bud. I like how that Wicker Man is just standing there right next to that. Uh... Our first sight of grace here. Crushed item ahead, but we're a crowd. You're telling me. Wow. That actually interrupted me. Regular basic attack. I was charged too. Damn. Don't throw that at me. Don't you dare. Silver horn tender. Silver horn tender. Oh, apparently we got another Skadu tree fragment from something. Did that drop from when we picked up the, the spirit ash as well? I don't know. We got another one. Wait, why does that say we only have one larval tier? Don't I have a bajillion of those things? I think I have like 20. <laughs> Old currency used by horn scent made by coating spiral horns with silver. Temporary boost item discovery can also be sold for a high price. These trinkets were once symbolic of society's upper echelons. So a new item discovery, not just a foul foot. In the base game, we had gold and silver foul feet. One gave runes, one gave item discovery. I wonder if they stack. Can you stack both of them? I'm going to assume no. But... <clears throat> Who knows? Uh, yeah, don't I have like a bajillion larval tears here? Because I only ever respect like once or twice in the my first playthrough. For some reason now I'm just not... Is it just in regular consumables?
Unless were larval tears reset. So is a key item? Yeah, key items. Oh, weird. Oh, oh, never mind. They're different. I have 13. So these are the material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. This is a respect material. So now we have a, a ghostly whisper version. An exceptionally rare creature that burgeons from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. So Ronala can still use this. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. So it's just thematically a larval tier for the DLC. Huh. Okay. Spirit Gravestone. So many items. It's a craft. It's a found on gravesite plane. Piece of gravestone that has started to turn into a spirit. Material used for crafting. In places to where the dead have been brought since antiquity, the oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. The gravestones themselves turn into spirits and fade away. Oh god. Okay, these have sort of death magic. Alright, well this is annoying. Ow. Okay. They're just spitting skulls at me. Firefly. So these are actual gravestones, and eventually even the gravestones turn into spirits and fade away. Also, don't think I didn't see that. So there's a jump down from the layer up. Okay. Oops. I haven't done it that many times, but that was definitely just hitting the wrong button. Oh, another ghost. Lore ghost. We have this little encampment to look through, too. I know. All your resentment lingers yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge. A curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head, upon America's children, each and all. Well, that ghost makes it sound like Mesmer is definitely a child of America. So a little, little more pushing towards that narrative. I don't want to sit at this grace yet. I want to respawn everything. I want to check this little encampment out. These scorched ruins. I wonder how explorable it is. It's like a, uh, is that a bird or a marionette? A marionette bird. Do you see it? Some weird carrion birds. There's a couple of them. Yeah, there's a couple of them. No oh, goody. Flying enemies. Praise the message, then behold secret passage. Is it actually? No. It is not. 
because there are very, very, very few illusory walls in Elden Ring. I think in the base game, there's three, two in a cave, and one in Volcano Manor, something like that. I jumped over him. Dog. That's the wrong button, but whatever. Gets the job done. I was trying to two hand quickly and then block, but. Pots. Kratos will be proud. Shadow Realm Rune Tier 2. The Skadu tree is the shadow of the Erd tree. No wonder grace shines ever so brilliantly. Hmm. Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. It's a very... It's basically the same icon. So it's a tier two, right? So I don't have any tier twos, but essentially it's the same icon, but a bunch of like shadowy goo in between the pieces instead of it just being, it's kind of like the membrane in your eye is what I've always seen these. Like this looks like what you look like when you look at an eyeball when you get all up in there. Skinny sort required a head. Sure, I guess. Check the corner. No sleep ahead. All the more. Ah! Oh! Oh, he's up there. Oh, it rocks at me. Shadow rocks. <laughs> Yep, I figured. Because it was... The moment I saw that it was an actual message... Uh, this is a, a built-in message, not a player-made one, I think. Or it could be. It could be player-made. I'm not sure. Usually I thought when they have the, um, the shiny... That maybe just means it's been appraised enough times, right? All the more time for Elden Ring. No sleep ahead. A fur-calling finger remedy. That's my blood. Hello? Hmm. Look carefully, but lightly dung. Look carefully, but lightly dung. Oh, just the, the fur calling finger remedy on the wall back there. Damn it. Another thing about having the online on is seeing people's phantoms. Because considering you can see their phantoms and everything else is like a freaking ghost in this whole area. I think there's more enemies around. Like turn a corner and there's a phantom. It's a player, not an actual enemy oh. too high up that's correct now this door is going to be locked and we'll need a key for later I'm assuming hmm. okay or not Hello? NPC with dialogue, maybe? Nope, just a chest. You ready to jump back in case it's a trapped chest? It is not. The Blade of Mercy. 
it an actual item? No. It is a talisman. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Raises attack power after each critical hit? In combat backstabbing, giving you more... Huh, because critical hits are only backstabs. Or... Do front stab parries count as a critical hit too? So, after you... After you parry, repost, or after you get a backstab. A thin, blood-stained dagger, no longer fit for use. Raise attack power for each, uh, after each critical hit. I wonder how by how much. Because you could just wear another talisman that is just keep attacking to gain attack power. Horn Scent employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken. It has acquired a spectral aura. Okay. Uh, we will not be using that. I don't think that has any synergy with what this build is at all. Oh, we want to go... We still have that front section. Uh-huh. Already 1,482 appraisals? Game's been live for not even two hours yet. Holy crap. Some red flesh mushrooms. Bunch of rock thrower boys. Hello. I... Plump sword ahead. Plump sword. Try attacking. It's a really small door. Feels like it's small anyway. Greater Potentiates Cookbook Tier 1. Or Potentate, rather. Potentates. Ow. It's our first cookbook. We'll check it in a moment. Potentate. That's a, it's a rank of some sort. I forgot. Expands your crafting repertoire. A record of crafting techniques of the greater potentate who roamed lands near and far. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he suffered great... Oh, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Acquired the knowledge to craft the following. Hefty fire pot. Oh, like the big two-handed one? No! Oh! Oh, I need a new hefty cracked pot. And it takes the fire, the fireflies and the red flesh mushrooms. Throw out enemies to inflict severe fire damage. A goodly amount of materials is sealed inside. A goodly amount. So there's a new... So the big pots are a totally new resource that we must collect to use as consumables as well. Maybe what it meant by plump sword ahead, large pot as it were. Oh, there's our first hefty cracked pot. Would you look at that? I mean, I've got to give it a try, right? This hefty, empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential vessel for crafting hefty, cracked pot items. The materials and magics sealed within deploy their effect when the pot is thrown. 
greater potentates of Bonnie Village craft these and store them in a frozen jail. Bonnie Village. <laughs> Extra runes. When they have glowing eyes, they drop more runes than normal. Well, we gotta try out this pot, right? We gotta, we gotta make one and throw it. We have to try out the snakes too. I keep forgetting we got those snakes. Sneaky snake. You never know. Mostly you do know, because they, again, there are so very, very, very few. Illusory walls in Elden Ring. I think that was everything. I think that was everything. Because everything is kind of locked up. That's basically just to get the uh, pot material, the pot crafty, and the, uh, the cookbook, and the dagger, I guess, the talisman. All right, I think we're due for an actual sit. We can we can take a sit. We can spend some of our stuff. Shadow Realm blessings. We got a Spirit Ash one. So you consume to bolster your revered Spirit Ash blessing. The revered Spirit Ash blessing bolsters both summon spirits and spectral seeds abilities. So it just it's a passive buff to both torrent and anything you summon. All right. Is it really just... Okay, so it's one to go up. So Skadu Tree now. So that's Skadu Tree one. Now use two. And then it's two again. So one, two, two. So we're at tier one, we're at tier two. Now it takes two. I wonder if it takes whatever the tier it is you are, it takes that many to go up. So it might just go one, two, three, four, etc. That could could in fact be what it is. And potentially also what it do. I'm wondering what kind of resistance the large, chunky Wicker Man has. Probably heavy fire and heavy physical. So I'm wondering if, if could lightning be the play and actually hurt it? If it's physical, like Pest Red's just physical damage. I could always physic and then use like ice on it or something or try to hit it with Scarlet Rot. That's why I want to get my arcane up just a little bit just so I can actually get the ability just to splash the arcane spells because we're at yeah, I need to go up to 16. Oh, you can see the yellow now is our damage due to the Skadu tree blessing. Although I don't see anything in defensive power. So I'm assuming that is a flat modifier happening behind the scenes. The review, the, re the reviews that came out from like Iron Pineapple, for example, I think they were saying it was like a 4%, like a 4% Per, per blessing tier. So I'd be at 8% damage up and 8% damage taken uh, reduction. If that's what, if that's roughly what it is. Well, no better math in, you know, a week when everything's been figured out. Because gamers will game. 
because it doesn't actually say it doesn't it doesn't say anything it just it just you get buffed and that's it but i do wonder if i can just throw black fire at it but it's still gonna count as well it counts as holy damage i don't know i feel like we might as well give it a try we're right here you know it's really big the trailers really don't sell you on how large these wicker men are that's strikingly large this is definitely a time for some torrent No, it aggro's quick. Okay. Wow. How do I get out of the range of that? That's nasty. Yeah, it's no damage. You jumping up? Oh God. Okay. It's, it's so deceptively large. It's hard to, to, to distance. It feels like you just got to get close to it because it, it, it moves so fat far. It moves so far. That's our first death though. Which makes sense. Oh, gotta, yep. Gotta move my mouse back. Okay. I wonder if Torrent is fast enough to skirt around. Let's see. I don't think it takes like any damage right now. That is so wild. Maybe that's supposed to tell you to not be on torrent. That is tough. How do I close the gap? Holy crap. Okay. That's funny. It's clearly just a jump mechanic, but still. Oh, okay. You're doing it multiple, multiple, multiple times. All right, bud. All my buffs are already falling off, basically. Wow. The HP on this sucker. I want to get in like a swing animation so I can actually do this. That was 1200 damage. It didn't even move. Hold on, do it again. That's going to blow up. No, maybe not. Two hundred and seventeen. Wow. That is bonkers. Well, this does the best damage I've got. Oh, crap. I was in the animation still. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy juice. Five hundred damage a swing. Oh, it can get staggered. Does it fall over? 
It didn't have like a fall over crit, so it just... Oh, I missed my jump. Ah, oh, damn it. Rolled too early. Huh. I wonder if Black Blade works on it. Oh, shit. Oh, I staggered it. So it can just get staggered and it just, it just stops moving. Okay. Oh, that was off the screen. Am I dead? <laughs> okay. That's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's pretty great. Okay. Stab it more. Get one of the new weapons. That's what I'm, I'm wondering about some of the balancing. If you're basically supposed to get new weapons or you're just supposed to come back when you have enough blessing. Cause I have noticed that there are multiple wicker men around. There aren't just the one, right? It's it's there's, I've seen three. There's one here and there's two. We saw from the very starting area over the cliff. Now, granted, that's in a different area entirely, but. I don't know if Black Blade actually applied the. Um, I don't know how to get past that as Torrent. See you, bud. Did it take away its max health? It did. Okay. So it does still work. Oh, come on. All right. I mean, we're playing Elden Ring again, but like, where was the hitbox on that? I was between its legs and it still got me. I was very clearly like pushing into its left leg and it still gets me. So the hitbox there is massive on the, uh, on the grab attack. I'm just going to give it a little bit more time here. It looks like you do not want to be on torrent though, considering you want to be able to jump or jump easier. And this attack sucks. God, it is so hard to get around it. Surprisingly quite agile. Okay, come really? Good lord. The angle on that was so wild. I, I don't know what you're doing. It, it massive, massive. Mu what? What hit me? What? I okay. <laughs> I. I it's so hard to see what it's doing because everything is off the screen and it's such a huge model. Oh, that's fun. Iron Pineapple video mentioned this DLC is super end game, like needing to be level 150 plus. Yeah, yeah. I'm level 173. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can see our damage defense and negation on this screen now. So we get to see our adjusted stat on this screen. Okay. So it does reflect. It didn't reflect on my other screen when I was in the inventory, but on the status screen it works. Yeah, we are we are even more leveled than some would say you need to be cuz um a lot were saying to be level like 120 to 150, but it's probably 150 plus. Yeah. I mean, we have two Skadu tree blessings, but I just don't I was doing okay damage to this guy, but it would probably take me 10 minutes. I don't really care about those runes, but I do want to level my arcane at some point. It is easy to double jump this attack though. 
as Torrent, because you're just in the air for longer. It's just a lot of hits, I guess, if I wanted to really beat this guy right now. And it's just playing that, these jumps, okay. I can stagger it a lot, but I don't get a crit or nothing. It just stops moving. You just get to hit it more. Stamina. That was weird. Yeah, see, it just it just stops moving momentarily. Like, I mean, this will, this will kill it. It just will take a while. Which I don't know if that's the intended way. Oh, come on. I was spamming jump. I was still in the animation. Because the heavy attack on God Slayer gets uh, two hits. Oh God, it goes so far. I thought I had space. I did not have space. I don't like this foot. I think I like the other foot better. Oh, it does fall over, fall over. Oh, it does have a crit spot too. I forgot how to get off my damn mount. Please, game, can I get off? Oh, wow, okay. That's the ticket. You get a super crit if you knock it over twice. Now the question is, does it change attack pattern at all? Yikes. They give you a ton. Oh crap. Okay. I don't know if that was a different stomp pattern. I do like torrent for double jumping. You can get above the fire easily there. Let's run away. It goes really far. There we go. That's the initial stagger, not the actual real one. Do be swooshing. Stompy stomp. Big jump. Oh, damn it. I was too close to it. Like the initial explosion was too close. Okay. I was spamming jump, but apparently I was still in the animation. Oh, that was interesting. Double stomping. Oh, okay. We're good. Ah, torrent. 
What is happening? All I'm doing is turning around. Apparently I'm turning too much so I don't get the chance to actually use my jump. That's the super stagger? Nope. That has to be like two back to back, I guess. Oh, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't do two. I have to do one at a time. Wait for the initial explosion and double jump it. There we go. I should be getting another stagger here soon, yeah? Oh, wow. The double. I keep getting debated by the double. I don't have the speed to move around it as fast if I'm not on torrent. I need to be able to walk. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> it's so big and awkward. Oh, that's the big one coming down it fell on me is this it monk all right a little scuffed how many runes deflecting hard tier oh is that the mod one and the furnace visage did it even drop any runes it dropped no runes and now this whole area is on fire or at least just visually Okay. I mean, hey, we did it. Enhances spontaneous guard in mixed physic. So this is... Heard about this in uh, one of the reviews. In one of the modded versions of Elden Ring, there was perfect blocking, which you could do uh, with like a shield or a greatsword or something. And if you did it, you could do a riposte, which normally wouldn't be a thing. So this might be that, but only in a physic form. So only once per rest and only for a limited time. A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the scattered sap from the Skadu tree pools deep within the furnace golems. Furnace golems. The wicker men, they're called furnace golems. Let me write that down because we did beat one. Uh, first furnace golem. Nice. Now. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction temporarily enhances spontaneous guard. Damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. Yeah. I think it was Iron Pineapple. He said he played with this his entire playthrough because it just feels so good to be able to do this style of combat, which is very Sekiro inspired. Although as a wondrous physic, I think it only lasts for up to three minutes, maybe two or three minutes when you drink it and then you have to rest to get another one. So it's very specific, but that is pretty cool. We also got the Furnace Visage, a smaller imitation of the Furnace Golem's visage. The crafting item? Exceedingly rare to find, a stone mask surrounded by curled horns, depicting a fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. It's a crafting material? Exceedingly rare to find. So what are you going to craft with this thing?
Wonder how much it would be to pick up the game and DLC since you currently have it on Xbox. Well, the DLC is only 40 bucks. And the DLC is like half the base game. And the DLC, this, Shadow of the Erd Tree, has more content in overall gamer hours compared to some full release games that are 60 bucks or 70 bucks now, I guess. So I'm assuming it would probably cost you like $100 to pick up the whole thing. I don't know if there's a bundle sale or whatever, but if the main game is 60 and this is 40, 100 bucks. But I have over 300 hours in Elden Ring. <laughs> so I have definitely gotten, because I've played multiplayer, I've played two extra characters. I've got a co-op. Um, I've got my original character that has, she's got the bulk of it. She's got like 200 hours. Uh, whatever it took me to beat the original game. But this is also my first Souls-like over two years ago for the But I'm Bad series, where since then I have played like 10 other Souls-likes. So my a way of approaching, a, my way of approaching and analyzing my combat and, and what I'm doing is going to be way different than if you go back and watch the original playthrough because I was bad. That was the name, the reason why I named this series But I'm Bad because all these games I'm going to be real shit at for a while and then eventually get better at. Unless you're the combat simulation challenges in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, but anyway. You're beautiful. That should do it for episode one. We got down two bosses. I guess technically the Furnace Golem Wickerman things aren't bosses. They are like area mini bosses that drop exceedingly rare craftables. I, I don't know what the hell we're going to craft with that thing, man. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos if you want. I have so many. The But I'm Bad series now is over 400 or 500 episodes. I don't know. I've lost count. I also have to stop all my recordings manually now because you can't use a stream deck with Elden Ring because it will, uh, it'll break. <laughs> so I got to manually click the button like this right now. <laughs>